hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to learn how to add translation to your plugin or themes so that whenever we change language of the wordpress site your string coming from your plugin or theme should be translated into that particular language so before jumping into this discussion i would suggest you to watch this video first where i showed you how to add string in your theme and plugin uh, with correct way in the wordpress because this video is dependent on this uh, this uh, functionality or feature so yeah i would suggest to watch this video first uh, link is in is into the description section and then start watching this video and if you know what you are doing then just keep watching this video so here I am logged in on my local site as an administrator so let's start adding translations so I'll be using a custom plugin which I showed you in my previous video if you don't know that's okay I will just to know that this is the plugin in which I am adding translations this is the custom plugin I built so first step is to install local translator plugin so yeah I already added this plugin local translator you can directly click on add new and install from the wordpress.org the plugin is free loco translate once you install that plugin we have to make sure text domain is correct for all the strings so in my custom plugin i have added this page and if i go to this admin page we will see a couple of fields over here where this field I named field one and another one is books so make sure uh, this text domain are uh, correct for these strings so let me make sure so I'm gonna open that file where I written the code for this field one and books and so let's say only field to this field and here this is the text domain i had added punty wp so let me make sure that this text domain i have defined is correct so text domain i have defined in the main plugin file which is punty wp so i'm gonna make sure that that is correct so yeah so now text domain is correct third is to create template file and save it to plugins languages directory so uh, how to create template so for that we will go into local translate and here you will see some plugin name so if you don't see your plugin over here just click on see all plugins and here you will see all the list of plugins you have installed so i'll go to my custom plugin and here you see that create template so we will create template so string will be extracted to plugins my plugin languages so make sure you have languages folder created here so it is not there so let's create languages so that this template file will generated in that folder so let's create template now so it says template file created let's confirm so it is here is the template file which is in a pot format so that's that now uh, add language and start translate 
so what we are going to do currently this is English language so first of all let's go to general and I will switch language to some another language so let's say let's add this my native language which is uh, Gujarati so let's save this so as you can see everything is translated to this language but our our string won't be translated because we need to translate it first so for that now we have to add a new language for my custom plugin so i will click on new language so after creating template we have to create add a new language so i will select the that language and i will choose this path which is inside my plugins languages folder so as you can see the pattern of the file is your text domain and the language code.po so first let's start translating so once you do this let's check if it adds more files or not so we can see that it generate two file po and mo and for displaying a uh, translated text we need mo file so uh, first let's translate book so i will use google translate from english to gujarati and i will copy this and for books i will add gujarati translation here and save it so now your translation is done let's try to refresh this so still this is not displaying the translated text why because we have to inform wordpress that whenever this language is selected execute the particular language's mo file so next step so we save the generated file and now we have to apply the language file based on the language we selected through the settings page so for that we will use this plugin loaded hook and in that hook we will use load text domain function so this function accepts two arguments one is the text domain which is defined in our plugins main file here and another file another argument is the path of the mo file which is uh, generated over here in our uh, languages folder so based on the selection of language we have to provide that particular path so in our case our language file name is text domain as language code so here i have added this path uh, this this is the root of the plugin and then languages bun twp the text domain hyphen this is the function to get selected language code dot mo and if this file doesn't exist just execute the default dot mo and we have to add this function inside plugins main file so i will add over here and i already made changes according to my plugin domain 
and now if we refresh this it will display the translated text so our text is translated now um, let's go back to this my plugins setting into the local translator translator and let's add a new language and I will select Spanish and I will select this path again languages folder and start translating now we will translate the same word into Spanish language so I will select Spanish here and it is Libros so let's translate books into Spanish and save it so now text is saved now let me go to settings and change it to espanol so everything is now into spanish and if i refresh this page again we see the spanish language so this is how um, you can make your plugin or theme translatable so once you generate all the language files you can then add these files to your git or your plugin plugin uh, folder or anywhere you want so that any uh, any language we change through wordpress backend uh, your plugins word will be translated into that particular language so yeah this is how you can make your plugin translatable and yeah this is the video if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys